Hey guys, thanks for viewing this tutorial. We're going to learn how to add new pages to our menu system using the menu maker package uh, that you downloaded from the Unity store. Alright, so we're going to start off in a scene that already exists whenever you first download the package. So we're going to start off in Demo 2 scene. And let's go ahead and play it to see what we're working with. And I apologize if this is a little bit slow. It's difficult for my computer to uh, stream the video while I'm running Unity. So we're going to go ahead and press play. And if I hit the pause button here, you can see that we have this pause menu coming in. Uh, you guys already have all of this inside of your package. So what we want to do is add a new page, which is going to be controls. So uh, first thing we have to do is add a new button to our pause menu page, uh, which is a controls button and then we're going to have that controls button trigger a state change of our window manager that's going to bring in the controls page which will be somewhere over here. So let's go ahead and start off by doing that. We're going to open up our window manager, open up the canvas, and then click on the pause page and set that to active. Now we're going to extend this uh, hierarchy a little bit. Click on the bottom button and duplicate it and then we're going to move that button down to wherever we want the controls button to be and don't forget to move your anchors to the outskirts of the button that we just created that's going to allow our button to work on any resolution screen then we're going to change the, the text of this button to controls so that the user knows what they're clicking on and then we're going to click on the button and we have this dynamic listener here we want to set uh, the state whenever we click this button to controls. So without getting into too many details on, on how this works, uh, essentially we're just sending a message to the window manager which is up here because um, that's the tag that the window manager has. It's accepting a parameter to the set state function and the parameter that we're passing is controls. This controls parameter has to be the exact same value as the state that exists on the window manager. So we're going to be creating that state in just a moment. Okay, so after we add that button, we can go ahead and apply the changes to our, our pause page prefab. Now we want to duplicate this page so we have something to start from. And we're going to deactivate uh, our pause page. And we're going to open up the new duplicated page. We're going to call it controls page now. Click on the contents of this page and move it on over uh, to somewhere over here like this on the screen and again don't forget to move your anchors to the outskirts of the contents of this page now we're going to set the title of this page to controls give it a font so the user can actually see the the title we're gonna get rid of these first two buttons here because we don't need those anymore on this page now this button uh, the text for this button needs to say back because whenever we click this we want to go back to the pause page now we click on the button and for the dynamic listener we're going to set the state back to pause. Okay. Once we do that we are done with our controls page and we can go ahead and instead of applying the changes because that would apply the changes to our pause page we want to go into our resources folder click on demo two pages and drag the controls page into the prefab list for our pages. Okay. Once, we're, once we've done that we can go ahead and uncheck controls page and now we need to do a few other things. We're going to go to our show states uh, in our window state handler and I'm clicked on our window manager. I'm going to add a new state. The state name for this is controls. Save state name. I'm going to open it up. Show derived actions. We don't have any because we haven't added any yet. So I'm going to click the green plus button to add a new uh, action. We're going to call this action display page. We open up display page and we're going to have this action run a window event. So we're going to add a new window event, drag the window manager down here into the object field, and look for the display page method right there. So that's the method that's going to be called whenever this uh, state is activated. And what this method does is it looks into the resources folder, the subfolder dem demo two pages to pull out controls page. Oops. So I go back to show states controls. Okay, so our resources folder needs to be demo two pages because that's where our new page is going to be coming from. The new page name is controls page, which is what we just created. 
and the base page is going to be uh, pause page. So the base page is the page that um, is directly under the page that we're spawning. So by saying the base page is pause page, before we create controls page, we're going to delete every page that is above pause page currently, and then spawn controls page. Okay, so that's all we have to do with the window state handler. So we're done there. We're going to want to go into our window manager and add a new page reference. So the purpose of the page reference is so that we can modify the settings of the page easily. And we're going to drive the controls page prefab into here. It's going to automatically attach a an animator to our controls page. Uh, swipe left in, fade out. We don't really want that animation. We're going to we're going to do a swipe right in, fade out animation because the page since the page is on the left side of the screen, it makes sense for it to come in from the right. Okay, and once we've done that, we're good to go. So now we should be able to click play, and we should be able to see our uh, new page working. So we're going to load in, and then we're going to click play, hit pause. Now we have the controls button here. If I hit controls, you'll see the new controls page come in. Now watch what happens when I hit back. Okay, so I'll do it again. Notice that when I hit back, remember we set the state to pause. And what happens is it's deleting the first pause page and it's spawning a new one. So why is that happening? Well, the reason it's happening is because we have a little bit of a hiccup with our pause state. So anytime we set the state to pause, here's what happens. We look at our base page and we delete everything above the HUD, which includes the pause page. So we delete the pause page and then we spawn a new pause page. So to alleviate the issue that we're experiencing, we can set the base page for pause to pause page. Now whenever I hit controls and then I hit back on controls, you can see that the pause page, the original pause page stays there and uh, uh, it just fades back in. We're not spawning any new pause page. Okay. So that's how you add a new page to your menu maker system. Hope you guys learned what you needed to. Um, and if I do any more tutorials, you guys will be the first to know about it. So thanks for watching and have a great day.